While most women her age are taking it easy, Bali's leading psychiatrist is on a mission to expose an uncomfortable truth, and nothing will stop her. Least of all, the terrain. Papa, gisida bos do. Girls, lagane neng udahan gisida. Once again, she's taking me on her round, visiting her chronically mentally ill patients. Saya umumnya membantu orang yang tidak dibantu oleh siapa-siapa. Saya ingin mengetuk hati keluarga, masyarakat, pemerintah bahwa mereka ini bukan orang-orang yang tidak berguna. This is how she found Komang last year, chained up in the backyard. With the anti-psychotic medicine Dr. Suryani provided, this is how she looks now. Jadi sekarang tiap hari aktivitas tiap hari apa yang sekarang? Metik lomba. Eh? Metik lomba. Apa itu metik lomba? Lomba yang boleh di. She's happy and healthy and contributing. Masak. Ya. Apa lagi? Eh, masak. Ya. Masak di dapur. Ini baju dari. Time and again, I see dramatic progress in the patients we met last year. Some are doing better than others, but overall, the change is remarkable. Not so long ago, 26-year-old Gadet was chained up next to his own excrement, unable to communicate. Here he is now, working on this building site. Hey. Kerjanya bagus ya? Ya lumayan. <laughs> this is Nyoman, who spent decades with his foot in these crude stocks. Belum belum terpikirkan sampai sembuh total sepinjik lah kita belum. Karena dulu terus terang. Yang tahu dari kecil ni ke sudah hampir 40 tahun dipasung, itu. He's now free to roam around the village as he pleases. Apa nak cucu? Kudeng lah cucu. Kudok ada. Oh, tentai tepok cucu. The recovery in Dr. Suryani's patients show what's possible with the right medication and treatment, something the health department has been unwilling or unable to give. According to this man, staff at Bali's mental hospital advised him to lock up his sons, which he did for eight years in this double-sided cage before Dr. Suryani showed up and helped them recover. After his initial treatment, the eldest son, Komang, got married, and the latest news is his wife, Ayu, is three months pregnant. <laughs> And these two sisters I met last year in a dark room in Bali's north have also been rescued by Dr. Suryani. Back then, it was a confronting scene, with the older sister screaming at us to leave. Uh, Ibu ingat masih ingat saya tidak? Ingat. Ingat. Kalau waktu pulang semua ingat. Huh? Kan kan dicampur semua. Ya, oh, itu. Uh, semua semua uh, mengikat mau suntik. Eh uh, waktu itu Anda mau lindung, lindungi adik ya? Uh, iya, kasihan adik yeah. diikat. Ibu kan Like many of Dr. Suryani's patients, these women need regular treatment with antipsychotic medicine. Without it, they will relapse. She provides the medicine free of charge, but now this good Samaritan's inspiring work is under threat. After we went to air last year, she finally received one billion rupiah, or about $120,000 from Bali's governor, enough to treat over 300 patients for one year. But then in December, he slashed that budget by 90% without consulting her, apparently after listening to jealous critics of her program. What sort of criticism did you hear of her, of her work? You know, 
I'm, 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 I must responsible for this budget management to the parliament and to the people. So why, there are some questions to me, why do you put the budget so big to this foundation? There is no foundation that you, you allocate that big of money. There's a kind of political, uh, uh, political uh, judgment or criticism. So do you think perhaps you were over, too oversensitive to that criticism? It's not oversensitive, but I must take it into my consideration. The budget cut has shaken Dr. Suryani. Jadi saya merasa malu sampai tidak dipercaya. Dan akhirnya saya berpikir, apakah saya akan berhenti? Yang akan saya tempuh adalah menghentikan pengobatan. Dan saya akan memberitahu relawan untuk menyampaikan kepada kepala desa, camat, bupati, kepala dinas kesehatan dan dokter-dokter bahwa terapi untuk pasien ini dihentikan. The dramatic budget cut comes in spite of Governor Pastika's own family experience. Before Suryani uncovered the problem of untreated mental illness in Bali, were you aware of the problem? Not exactly. No? No, exactly. But she tells me even your own grandmother was, was chained up. I keep on asking why she's just sitting on that place. That was a long time ago. So you, so you were shocked when you, when you found out this was going on, uh, you know, around... Still Bali. going on now. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course. Dr. Suryani knows her patients won't be able to afford the expensive medicine she's been giving out for free. But with the governor's money drying up, she needs to find out whether the families can afford to pay at least some of the cost. So the money not only for the patient but for volunteer to help the patient because the the doctor and the nurse at the health center doesn't want to help this patient. They said they are busy, they don't know how to handle uh, mental disorder. Of all Suryani's success stories, there's no better example than 36-year-old Gusti. I don't even recognize him when he's sitting right in front of me. How are you? You look so different, so healthy, happy. That's great. When we first met, Gusti was refusing to wash and spent his days singing songs from the epic Hindu tale, the Mahabharata. He'd been chained up for eight years. He was clearly intelligent and creative. Locking him up for years on end seemed such a tragic waste. Dr. Suryani ended up threatening his family, who were refusing to let her treat him. Sebab membiarkan orang sakit tidak diobati bisa dikena hukuman. Ya, kalau kami datang ke sini untuk membantu Dados, kalau Bapak mau membiarkan, kami laporkan ke polisi. Karena Bapak ini membiarkan orang ini terikat secara HAM itu tidak benar. They finally relented, and now with the results before their eyes, they trust Suryani completely. Jadi saya banyak berterima kasih, banyak sama Ibu Suryani berstatim, Bapak juga atas kesemuan adik saya. Gusti now paints and makes intricate papyrus paper etchings and is no longer a nuisance to his family. Dan keluarga yang kami lihat semua bahagia karena merasa baru kali ini keluarganya tidak mengganggu dirinya dan tetangga. Mereka bisa bebas. Mereka bisa bebas dari tekanan kamu punya keluarga gila. Kamu orang-orang yang mengganggu dan stigma-stigma lainnya. Suara-suara ke masih didengar? Berkurang. Berkurang. Masih dengar kan suara cuma ke? Dan. The voices in Gusti's head had told him to desecrate local temples, 
and when he did, his family locked him up. Now he can walk the hundreds of steps to the temple whenever he likes. <laughs> but after years of inactivity, Gusti finds the climb to the top gruelling, but says it's worth it. Tempatnya indah. Mm -hmm. Indahnya? Pandangannya luas. Yeah. Jadi merasa apa kalau ke situ? Merasa merasa nyaman itu. Hmm. Hmm. Dulu waktu sakit nggak boleh ke sini. <laughs> nggak. Mm -hmm. Sekarang boleh. <laughs> Bagus. Oke. Okay. Bali's governor has just launched a major public health initiative, offering free health care for all Balinese. Part of the plan is to expand the island's mental hospital, and he wants Dr. Suryani to work within the system and not as a maverick. But that's not going to happen. She sees an inefficient health system prone to corruption and a mental hospital that is more like an old-style asylum. Menurut saya itu sistem sudah lama dilakukan, tapi hasilnya tetap. Jadi menurut saya penanganan dengan memfokuskan di rumah sakit itu justru memerlukan uh, dana yang berlipat kali dari dana yang diperlukan kalau kami melakukan seperti gaya kami merangsang masyarakat untuk ikut bertanggung jawab dan juga merangsang dokter puskesmas tahu keadaan di lingkungannya. <laughs> Meanwhile, budget cuts haven't stopped desperate families seeking her help as news of her work spreads. But without the government's assistance, it's back to using her own money and begging for donations. This woman is another still in chains, and despite Dr. Suryani's treatment, she still believes she's a god. This woman is lucky to be under Dr. Suryani's care. But now with her budget cut, there are, she says, thousands more that she'll never get to see. Hmm?